Bah, 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 on air, Ed, on air, Ed. Bing, 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 bing. Why, do we, <laughs> why do we need electricity? We got him. We got it. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Vintage Series for it's October 2016. 40 years ago, Ed. 40 years ago, 40 Ed. 40 years ago, Ed. Ed. People say that. Yeah. We featured a Fetzer. Wait a minute. Fetzer Cab. Fetzer Cab, yeah. Fetzer uh, Cab. That one, I think, is up here. Okay. Well, let's just wait a while until you find it. Well, let me it. find it. Let me find it. <laughs> it's not. Uh, and the uh, and the other wine was a white wine yeah, or was it a red? Yeah, my Beaujolais, 1986. Uh, where, where was the white it? wine was Chenin Blanc from Santo Tomas, which um, that was not Baja California though. It yeah, was, um, Baja Mexico. Was it? Yeah, Baja Mexico. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, it's funny because we did we we did one like. Just a couple of months earlier in seven, in seventy six as well, we did we did a few because there's a couple San Martins here and those were Baja California too, um, but you know it's kind of cool because we can say that nobody nobody no one no how no way can say that except us because we've been doing this for so long, and that's why we stumble across this amazing wines. And I was just telling that earlier, I cannot believe the stuff that's coming in this next few months, off the charts value for for what we're featuring and. Here's starting with this. Uh, this Chilean is a, this is an amazing Chilean Cabernet. I mean, no, this we, would never. I would never guess this to be Chile. We, Not that anything wrong against Chile, but usually their wines are a little a little step down uh, from California. Boy, the nose this is, is like amazing. Killer. Yeah, the nose now, is amazing. You guys have seen Hermosa Hermosa before if you were in the classic series. Uh, this is the same winery, but this is sort of their reserve level, I guess you want to call it. Um, doesn't say reserve on there, but this is a different vineyard than the wines that we feature in the cl other club. And this is, boy, the fruit in there is Well, amazing. it's not just fruit, but it's got structure. It's got, it's got some nice, you know, medium tannins. It lets you know, hey, I'm Cabernet and you're not. Okay. Well. Wow. Yeah. Great wine. I mean. This has done really well in the this, bottle. You know, a lot of those Chilean Cabernets, they're great with chicken and fish. But then. then oh, chicken but, and fish? Uh, chicken? Thank you. And, but this is a steak wine. This, this is not a wine you have with, you know, chicken and fish. You having fun? Chicken? <laughs> <laughs> this is a 97 for me. I $19 really on the shelf, twelve ninety nine. dollars And I'll tell you why it's a 97 for me. Please, not only is, why is it a 97 for me? Not only is it because, A, hey, it's 79, I'm a dyslexic. No, I'm kidding. Uh -huh. So not only because it's um, Chilean, but it's the ca the Cabernet style is great. Mm -hmm. And then that is Chilean, and you don't get all of that green olive, uh, you know, green pepper character you might get from Chile. You get a really balanced almost Bordeaux-like character out of this. You know, it really does. Matter of fact, I would wonder if it has any more lower Cab Franc in there because it has that kind of complexity that you can't always get with so Cabernet. So that's the way that is, Ed. That's the way that is, Paul. No, Ed. And then, and then as, if, as if we're leaving South America too soon, up pops the Routini Chardonnay from Mendoza. Now, Ed was saying he thought this was a little oaky. Now, my job, our job, is to show representations of wines from different districts that do different things and have different character. So this is the, the 2013 Routine Shard, which is kind of cool because they, it's a huge, substantial bottle, by the way. They are oaking, doing a nice, I don't think it's too much oak at all. Well, you know, it's interesting because this is the second bottle I had, and it tastes different than the first one. The first one, I smelled a little bit of oak, which I do in the nose, but I don't get it in the mouth. No, the balance is really good. The balance is really, really good. It's much better. As a matter of fact, the acidity on this bottle, bottle is much better. It's a full-bodied Chardonnay. It sure. is. It's, it's nice. I mean, $19 is, is typical, maybe a little lower than what you'd pay for a Chardonnay like this, especially in a bottle that probably costs 6 bucks. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> the bottle probably costs $6. And then $11.99 uh, reorder price. I'm actually going to do a $95. i will go $95. The problem in general with Chardonnay... Pinot Noir from, actually it just hit me, the Burgundy grapes from this part of the world have not tasted like the, their counterparts. They haven't even tasted like their wines. Pinot Noirs from Argentina used to taste like red wine, and Chardonnay had no character. These are emerging now mm -hmm. of the character of the varietal from those districts, and that's why, now I remember, that's why I chose it. Well, they're starting to learn how to make wine is what's happening, you know. I mean, in the, mm. the world. Mean, the nose is incredible. The nose is you know, it's interesting because at first go around, I get a little too much oak, but that's me personally. A lot of people love that oak, and for them, this wine's out of this world. Take that. All right, here's the a, a drift. A drift. The yes. Tom Hanks castaway wine. No, I'm kidding. That's yeah, so Cabernet funny because from, somebody, uh, when I said that to somebody, they go, "Oh, he was talking about the new movie Sully," because <laughs> that's because that, he was a drift as well in the in the Hudson. Mm. 
Good movie, by the way. I saw it a couple weeks ago. Did you see it already? Yeah, very good money. Good oh, movie. Yeah. I didn't know it was out. All right, Paso Robles Adrift. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a new vendor of ours, a new winemaker, winemaking group, and they have a lot of property growing grapes all over the Central Valley in Paso Robles. And this is one of their wines. Uh, in fact, I think they made this Ruth Chris Chardonnay coming up. But um, I just found this classic Paso. Lots of fruit, lots of punch. Mm-hmm. No, this is great. It's got, it's got, it, it does have some complexity. It's got a little toastiness from the oak barrels that they use. It's got, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of stuff going on. Again, I mean, it's, it says that it's, it's Cabernet Sauvignon and it's the reserve. But I would wonder if there's more than just Cabernet in there. You said it the last time. Was there an echo in the room? No, it's a different wine. Oh. And I'm a different person. So, okay. I'm going to get this 96. Ni- yeah, well, you know, it's a you know, It's just pretty 19, classic what it's supposed to be. $19 the dollars on the shelf, twelve ninety nine. Uh Yeah, I'd do a, I would, I would do a 96. So there, take that. Put that in your glass and drink it. You know what I like about the wine? It's so mellow all the way through. There's not, it doesn't punch up No anywhere. spikes, just, yeah. It just kind of cruises through. Yeah, I kind of like how we do these podcasts. Yeah, it's kind of cruising through. You throw it. Oh, yeah, so here's the second... Front runner wine we've done the last couple of months, and this was again. Um, this wine was really the good. The Central Coast, which is you know a yeah. great area for Chardonnay, but it's um, you see on the back label, it's it was bottled for Ruth Chris, and we were fortunate to get it. I think they sell it for fifty or fifty six dollars uh, on the wine list. That's a glass, by the way. Oh, boy, what a great! This wine was really good. I mean, I was I was shocked at how good this is. Such a classic Central yeah. Coast Chardonnay. It almost has elements of, dare I say, white Burgundy. It does. And you the know, malolactic and the know, soil the body. On it's the... got it's got that rocky sort of component that you get in really really good Chesson Maraches, Premier Cruz, which are you know sixty seventy bucks. But today, right now, today, if you order now, eleven ninety nine on the reorder price. Hey, get it now. We'll send you two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> say forty bucks. There you go. Hey, and it's eleven ninety nine for one or twenty four dollars for two. How about that? Wow! You know, I, it's amazing how quickly he did that. Make them right here in America. Ah. Made right. You know, we should be talking about that. Made right here in America. 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 Um, let's not. You know, but if, <laughs> I'm sure this is. I bet this is you know ten dollars a glass at the at the restaurant, just for a glass. No, no, no. Ruth Chris, yeah. Ruth Chris, they bring you an empty glass for ten dollars. You want wine in it? Ah. Oh. You should have said something. <laughs> yeah, 19 bucks to sell, eleven ninety nine. I'm doing a 96. I think, I'll go 96 I think too. it's one of the best starting I'll go 96 too. I'll go 96 too. I'll go 96 too. I'll go 96 Is there an echo in here? 96, 96 is 138, so 132. So, no, 96 and 96 is 192. Right. Oh, God. And that's Correct. our show, literally, Vit- for today. today. Vintner Series 2016. Wow. wow. October. Halloween. <laughs> 